Hello once again. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. Today is April 23rd, 2015. Yesterday was Earth Day. I hope every ha everyone had a really great day of celebrating Earth Day. I know that we have some friends in Chile that are near a volcano that's going off and there's a lot of alarm. Here in the United States, we just uh, went through tax season, and this usually will cause a lot of anxiety and fear. There's a lot of things still going on in the world, and I want to bring you up to speed on some of what's happening for Twin Flames, especially Blu-ray Twin Flames, but especially for those people that have been wondering what is going on. There is a lot going on behind the scenes. And I, I want to cover a few things. Uh, of course, it gets crammed into something under about 30 minutes. And everyone has busy lives. Everybody has their own story. The very first couple of things I want to let you know, because a, a lot of the events that have been happening and people's perceptions have been making them feel that they're imagining things. Uh, somehow they're delusional, they're afraid to speak to other people about this, they're afraid to reach out for help, uh, they're also uh, just simply uh, afraid of some of the physical feelings and sensations uh, that uh, come up and they feel very physical. These are the etheric and metaphysical parts of you, these are the cosmic ethereal parts that you're integrating. The bottom line here is that, no, you're not crazy, you're not delusional, you're not imagining what you're perceiving. But there's a lot because there is simultaneously income, what I call incoming, incoming, and there's stuff going out, there's things that are being released both personally, your twin flame, and from the collective. This is making discernment and guidance very, very difficult and challenging for a lot of people. And then to top it off, depending upon where you live, what your situation, if you're living in an environment where people are arguing, turning on the television, you're going out to a job, um, there's low vibrations. I would like to really encourage you, please do not do the blame game. Do not give in to the us and them mentality. This is a belief. This is a belief that there, you know, there's a separation here. We're all a part of things. So while there may have been occurrences that have happened in the past, and you could even look at Earth history and see that there have been things that have happened, the universe wants to put you together with your true love. And there's literally heaven and earth being moved in order to do so. And when I say heaven, I do mean the cosmos. A lot of you are in the part right now where you are connecting and reconnecting parts of your cosmic body. But the main thing I want to talk to you about is that time is not lost. Okay? There is no time loss. Nothing that you've done is for naught. And I want to remind some of you. Why did you wake up in the first place? You woke up to be the love. You didn't wake up because there's a mission of this, that, or the other thing. Some of you delved into old things. Some of you did create something. For some of you who created something, your heart and soul doesn't belong there anymore. Your heart and soul belongs with your true love. And that true love, your twin flame, and this is especially true for Blu-ray Twin Flames. Keep in mind that a lot of you were born ready for this. You were born for this time. You were born and you incarnated into a timeline. You incarnated into a genetic lineage. You come from an angelic lineage. You have a geographical spot that you feel. And you also have the perfect setup to conclude and heal. Now some of you are only going to heal to the best degree possible with the final curing and healing and being the love to be together with your twin flame. 
Now, some of the some of the other things I'm going to kind of kind of tie all of this together. What is the time we're in right now? We are in a time of healing the angelics, and you are the angelics. Blue ray twin flames are the ones who are from the original primary outpouring of love from source and we are able to hold the highest and largest capacity of love the highest vibration of love many are illumined in fact almost all blu-ray twin flames are illumined meaning that they've opened up 90 percent or more of their spiritual and genetic dna what does that mean that means that for a lot of you, you've had a lot of experiences, which does equal uh, some damaging times, experiencing traumas, uh, some pretty wild events that uh, have actually been archived. The focus here is bringing everything back into love. And there's a convergence effect going on. There's also this whooshing effect going on. You're being wished whisked along here along with that you're being literally carried through and out of and elevated out of situations collectively you're leaving you when you do this you're releasing things you're actively releasing things out of multiple levels of your body so the underlying mental and emotional hangovers that are in you these things are still going to come up for a lot of people you may have outbursts people around you may have outbursts you are going to have emotional and behavioral uh, issues at times it will continue to diminish to a degree where you feel calm you start to catch those triggers and you actually feel as though you have a handle on things now I want to let you know that while a lot of you don't have 10 years of therapy in you, you there's there's not really the necessity for a lengthy time period here because some of you don't have 20 or 30 years to devote to something you don't have 20 or 30 year, years to wait for someone either and that's a lot of what I want to talk to you about you are still in time to address the problems these are going to be the psyche disorders the addictions the sexual issues and of course bad guidance and what do what is what is some of this well the psyche disorders are going to be um, distorted beliefs it's going to be things from different cultures things from other levels old planets you've lived on that you're, you've carried forward here so there there is uh, some degree of past life carryover there are also um, sexual issues that people have uh, where they get on one track or um, they may have a false twin that they're still engaging with these are some of the things I'm referring to addictions drugs drinking gambling any form of escaping that energy of escapism comes from somewhere and I could possibly sum this up by calling it interdimensional and intergalactic post-traumatic stress disorder so intergalactic post-traumatic stress disorder and both men and women have this kids have it and and yet a lot of people don't know where is this coming from why is this coming up why does my twin behave this way why do they do this why would they rather escape with this or that than to interact with me and I'm here to tell you that there has been something going on behind the scenes so a lot of a lot of you I have seen that some of you went to some of the videos I did last year where I talk about the cosmic love and connecting the cosmic body and if you imagine this you're here on earth and you've been out to these other planets You've, I'll just mention a few. By all means, there are many. There's Sinara, Antares, Arcturus. Uh, some of the ones where a lot of damage was caused Lyra, the Orion system, and the Pallades. 
So let's talk about the Pallades. Let's talk about um, Lyra. Okay. Now, you have Earth's solar system. So in Earth's solar system, you have Venus. Um, and you've, you've got the sun here. I'm sorry, this is, this is not really too um, true depiction here because the Earth would be here. So you've got, we'll do the Sun, we'll do Venus, we'll do Earth, and you've got uh, Mars. Now what does, what does this mean that I'm talking about? Now where this uh, damage occurred, let's say it was in Lyra, the Pleiades, Pleiades, and let's say um, Antares. This is where a lot of people who are from both the pink and the gold rays originate in Antares. What's been happening is last year we moved the uh, rest of the feminine energy into place and positioned it, especially in Venus and in Jupiter. A lot of people were parked on Neptune and actually helped ascend Neptune. Now, Neptune the atmosphere is very different, and I, I don't want to get off into things that sound like science fiction. I want to tell you behind the scenes your energies, your twins' energies, what is going on, what is happening out there, out there, because you can feel it. A lot of you can feel connections to past lives. You know these places. You feel it in your blood. You consider yourself a star seed from these places. You know you're from somewhere. Other people might say, well, that's ridiculous. They haven't really had that expansion. And when you do have a past life memory or you've had a past life regression, the way that you know is you feel it as your truth. You actually relive it and you re-experience it. And it's, 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 not, it's different than a memory. It feels like you're actually there again, feeling, smelling, tasting, the whole kit and caboodle. So what we've done is we've um, taken the energies now from the masculine and the masculine that was damaged and recovered brought it to Mars, brought it to Jupiter, brought it to Venus and it's there and it is ready to be integrated here on Earth. Okay, and that's the part you're in. So for over the past month when we have been very busily getting the new grid set up and please understand that now is the time where people are going to feel a separation of worlds. People are going to feel a, a, a distinct difference. You're not intended to feel separate like us and them. It's just that some people haven't had these experiences yet. So some people who really would like to be a twin flame and find their true love and for other people it is so intensely painful that there is no other way. There is no way to cut the connection. And this isn't stopping until everything is brought here so that the two of you can be together. You're coming home. This is for your homecoming. This is for coming home to love. This is for going back to those places. So when you come to Earth, so the feminine energy, yes, it's coming in. And this is when you will hear astrologers say, uh, Jupiter is opposing Mars and Venus's energy is affecting this or that. And I don't pretend to be an astrologer. The way I feel tr astrology now is cosmic astrology. This is why I'm able to speak about this, is that um, we are bringing in what is now the healed sweet divine masculine a lot of the magnetic masculine the sweetness that we've uh, been expecting not that we've only been wishing for we've been expecting yes we have and it's poised and ready parked very close and now is being fully integrated in a very almost like twin flame aromatherapy right in the essence wafting in 
to be breathed in, connected to, brought right into all of your cells, all of your channels. So that's the behind the scenes. Now, when you do have these situations with your twin flame that are these psyche disorders, they're from those long ago and far away places. They have wanted to escape the pain themselves. So what I want to encourage you is that regardless of whatever you perceive or what people are telling you, you can choose this lifetime. You have a choice. You can come back for another lifetime and another lifetime and still try to get together with your twin flame. You can choose this lifetime. It's a choice. And the choice is being given to both of you. Now, I'd like to also address something else that people express. And they say, if only my twin flame would watch this. You share a heart and a, and a mental and emotional body. A brand new mental process. Let go of the old stuff. Get it out of you. If you don't know how, I do talk about that in my webinars. You share a heart. Whatever resonates with your heart, it goes over to your twin. It's not even osmosis. It happens faster than the speed of light. They are getting their messages in their own way. This is a gradual ascension into the fifth dimension and beyond in union with your twin flame. So there shouldn't be any blame you know, that's a hard thing because the human tendency is to find fault, find the blame. When you're, when you're able to um, get your visioning going and your heart going, you will glean what is behind this, what has actually happened, what occurred with your twin flame that is actually so deep and dire that, you know, needs addressing. And I want to remind you again, you woke up for a reason. Your awakening sent you into a mode of discovery, self-discovery. Who am I? I'm going to take some classes. I'm going to get good at some stuff. Woohoo! I've got gifts and talents that I never even knew I had. And a lot of you have had a lovely time. You've met great people. You've healed. Maybe you've done healings on people. Your twin flame is having the same process. Be grateful. Because if your twin flame hadn't departed, you would not have been able to turn that mirror around and really seen what is going on here. What is it that we still need to polish? We, 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 we. Not me, not that person. We, what is it that we're polishing up? And to get it, there was a thing that happened last July of 2014. That was one of the first parts of the shift. This is where uh, decisions were made at a higher level for the letting go and getting rid of the etheric realm where people had been interacting with their twin flame, sometimes for many years. And that's another thing I'd like to talk about. There are people that are out there that will tell you, pay attention here, there are people that will tell you, let go of that person. They told you already that they're not interested. And at night or in your room or as you're walking around in nature, you hear and you feel your twin. And you know it is because you have a matching vibration. You just know it right down to the core of your being. And you will hear them say, wait for me. Wait. I'm coming. You'll hear them say that. That happens a lot for Blu-ray Twin Flames, and this is the reason. You are waiting for them. They are literally dying a thousand deaths in these places. Those parts of them, they are, re they are pulling in all of their essence to be right, right here, right here on Earth in order to be with you. Because Earth is where it is happening. Okay, it is happening on planet Earth. The buck stops here. The chaos is here. We are not letting the fighting, dissension, arguing, and chaos back out into the fifth dimension or any place else. 
it gets resolved here people heal people catch their triggers and they get good at being with their twin flame you need to get good at it if you cannot even hold it together separately how are you going to hold it together when you're together you need to find the ways and um i do like to say that i am one of the people with some teaching tools via my webinars to uh empower people to do this i'm not the only one i am one of the people i address the metaphysical and the emotional parts of the body there are other people that are coaches that help with uh, both multi-dimensional and daily living that are uh, coaches this is not a relationship this is you in eternal union with your twin flame and you are bringing everything here to do this you are in union with your twin you have to ground it and anchor it together some of you are doing that separately you will gradually do this with each other and inside melding your bodies together it needs to be grounded to those deep inner parts of you your human body is where this is happening and you're both elevating from this level and you're also bringing it in now a couple of the last things i want to let you know about is that in terms of the human body the medical community knows the human body so if you are having ailments please don't be afraid and many people who watch my videos you're in different countries you have different health care systems in your country some of you have socialized medicine and at least you have something set up some of you have to go to a combination of different types of healers some of you may be living in a country where corruption is still a part of the medical community where you might have someone who um, they got their degree because they paid someone off so be very discerning but I encourage you to um, get the help that's necessary here in the United States there's been a lot of heavy heavy campaigning for health care for everybody and now that we have something in place a lot of people are thumbing their nose at it like it's good enough you you almost have somewhat of a responsibility to at least stick your toe in the water because twin flames are the creators we're also the dismantlers if something isn't working right it shows up in our vibration ooh you're not going to be the white knight on the horse you're not going to be the person that gets everything fixed right then and there you're going to set it in motion so try it out if it's not working let the universe know that you're displeased because we are creating as we go here these are not perfect systems they are overloaded every system in every country is overloaded and you need a combination of things i will say this also this has to do with the angelics and in other places you have not always had a human body guess what you had you've had an angelic body and that angelic body is needing healing and that's the part we're in right now blue rays know the light body that's us so a couple of other things people have uh, been upset that oh my my twin isn't doing something guess what happened your twins in that safety net they have a safety net here and from within that safety net I had a I had a friend depict this your twins is safe as if now we feel like we're in a void and that void can feel like jello just tilt this a little bit there he is or there she is forgive me for being sexist but your twin is is safe this void though this is the void that is leading to people feeling like they're getting bad guidance you're literally traveling through and you're safe but there's it's um it feels empty you're getting emptied out that's a good thing the getting emptied out is a good thing but here he is in or she is in saying hello hello i can't i can't hear many of you are saying that you cannot feel the connection with your twin flame that's the reason they may have they're, they're still coming up they're in the safety net don't give in to any of the conspiracy theories and so forth that you may hear or feel 
that has no validity. There is, if, if you give in to belief systems, if you say things like, oh, things are against us, guess what you just put your energy to? You have to believe in the love. You have to believe that your love is more powerful than anything. So thank you so much for listening. I wish you to hang in here. Please know that time is of the essence. Um, but your time is not lost. Things are not wasted. The fruits of your labor are going to show up. For many Blu-ray twin flames, that means this year. Because the firing of the grid is the next steps. There will be other things beyond this. And many people want to know, well, what's my mission? What's my mission? What am I supposed to do? What do I do in the meantime? You will know if there is uh, some endeavor for you to do. Your heart will prompt you. But I also want to let you know this. Don't just make work. And some of you might say to me, oh, Patricia, I'm so bored. It has been years. Yeah, it's been years. In the whole massive scale of your whole existence, this is a drip in the bucket. You have a little bit more time to go. The majority of what you're, he what you're really going to do is going to occur by melding yourself together with your twin. Be in love. Be in love again. Sometimes your twin flame has forgotten what actual real love is because it has not been able to be held at a third dimensional level. There are people that they've met along the way that have been uh, just finding another light out there in the darkness. And the forgiveness of those situations, for many of you that's already taken place, now you want the pain to go. You want the pain to leave you. And the pain is going to be leaving. We're going to be elevating continually. You're continually ascending. This is a gradual ascension. Find your footing with it every single day. I, I put this on my website. Twin flames don't grow on trees. Commune with yours daily. Okay? This is, this is an eternal union. You're going to become reacquainted with each other. For a lot of you, getting acquainted again, it's been happening over years while the things just dissolve away from you. Keep allowing and allowing. If you've, if you've really checked up with a soulmate, really feel that out. Because a lot of you, as we elevate here, you will be meeting some lovely people. Some of those people are there to hand back stuff that actually belongs to your twin flame. Feel it as you go because, you know, we have, we have the grid of life, okay? But then this person, whoa, whoa. They seem to have slipped off, but they're not. They're scooped up. This is not a fishing net, by the way. This is this is part of our uh, safety measures. There is a lot of care. There has been a lot of love going into this divine plan. Things are shifting sometimes as we go. Yes, it is taking longer. And the odd thing is, there's this is this is a part of the paradoxical situation here on Earth. When things take longer. People have a tendency to give up and do something else. They don't stay in faith and trust. And as soon as they've done that, they've altered their timeline. You are in quantum time now. It is also possible to jump timelines. And there are people that when I do readings for them, I can feel that acceleration effect. I can also feel that uh, situations or choices that they've made that they've altered their own timeline. I don't do that. I just help them read their own heart energies. Another thing that I want to mention, uh, when people will tell you things about your twin, one of the key things I've noticed between uh, the way that I do readings and sessions 
is that I help the person move their own energy so that they can get to their heart and really feel their heart energies again, to feel their, their twin flame. Other people will actually be reading the rapidly departing mental body. And if you're reading a mental body, especially one that's going bye-bye, that's going down the drain, you're going to get distortion. And that is uh, one of the things to be aware of. So someone with, with the proper connections who continually takes the time to clear. And I encourage all of you, do your daily clearing. Stop inputting and start feeling. Feel your own truth because a lot of you are actually at the point where the, the um, elevated state of your guidance is uh, necessary. A lot of you are going to be receiving guidance from your higher self. Some of your guides have, have literally concluded their agreements to guide you through a certain time period. So that's another thing that I want to talk about here, the bad guidance, what I call bad guidance or false guidance. There are no false guides. Okay. Now let me back up and, and I'm going to clarify. There are made-up guides, there's thought forms, there's beliefs, but a large part of what is happening is people are going in their little safe bowl of jello, you know, they're, they're going through this safe thing and it, it feels very wobbly, it feels wobbly and jiggly, and yet you're safe. And what is happening is that in this vacuum, you hear some of your own thoughts come back to you. And it might be things like this. You're driving and you pass and you say, oh, maybe I should send a, fill out a job application there. And the next morning, this comes back to you and it says, fill out a job application at that place. Or it might say, um, thing, you think something about your twin flame and it pings right back to you. Be very aware because you have to get the proper guidance from your heart. If you don't know how to clear things properly, um, in my webinars I have several exercises, uh, and these are physical exercises. These are actually opening up the channels of your body so you can make your high heart connections. They're moving your light body. You feel better. You breathe better. You metabolize better. Try it out. Um, there are things about the body where the body has its own intelligence and the in, you're connected out to the entire universe and the universe wants to uplift you and help you. The elemental realm wants to help you. The cosmic realm wants to help you. Why? Because you are the source lovers. You are the love that who transmits out and gives, breathes fresh life into things simply by being with each other. So uh, some of some of the other things that you know what could be bad guidance. Um, this this can be some of the negativity from the collective. Remember that as you are going through, you will hear collective thoughts from uh, other people. You'll hear it from the collective, especially if uh, be after full moons and some of these portals and eclipses. That eclipse, big vacuum for, for people to whoosh through. Not everyone's going at the same speed, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people are just going at a faster rate than other people. But please know that everybody has this opportunity. You came here to be the love. You came here to receive a light body a brand new light body, get good at it, dump off your karma, and go back home. Because this level of living isn't really where you're from. And being the ability to do that only happens with your twin flame. So I encourage you, you know, please know that the time is not lost. Continue to get rid of these emotional and mental hangovers and address all of the problems in your union.
Don't focus out on other people. Focus on what's going on in your union. The things that uh, actually are within your power. You are the only person in the universe who has the proper love to heal your twin flame and yourself. So thank you so much for watching. I wish everyone a wonderful week. And uh, thank you for all my corny props. I'm from the Midwestern uh, part of the United States where we grow a lot of corn. And we have this little joke here uh, for people in other countries. Um, these type of jokes, uh, we call them corny. And so, yes, I'm from the area where we grow the corn, so I'm corny. And that's, uh, but that's not my only sense of humor. So this is, these are just some depictions to help you have a visual to address, you know, what is happening behind the scenes. Why don't they seem to communicate? Why do they seem like this or that? Okay, and it's not just the men. But be aware that a lot of men have like this much time. A lot of the feminine, in order to um, gather and integrate and prepare, has had much more time. Now the men are letting go of old stuff, and it's, it's a challenge for them. It's not impossible, but it is a challenge. If you love your twin flame, and this is, this is the masculine energy, whether you are heterosexual, gay, lesbian, or transgender, uh, there's an entire rainbow spectrum. We represent all colors of the rainbow, even though I talk about Blu-ray twin flames. Many of you have everything inside you, and some of you are going to find out as you go along here what exactly that means. And it's going to be delightful because it's going to be all kinds of multidimensional ways of lovemaking and being together and experiencing together. You're getting ready for your brand new adventures, which means everything in love. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.